Hidden Treasure, Uncovering the Truth in Your Life Story, Gangaji. This gently flowing but often disarming volume is a call to pass beyond personal stories, to find a deeper, more universal self. Publishes Weekly, Stared Review. Introduction My teacher told many teaching stories. Sometimes he told about a lion raised as a donkey who, through the good grace of another lion, pointing out his inherent lioness to him, wakes up to his true nature and roars. Another time it would be the story of the exquisite hiding place in a thief's own pocket, where a rich merchant makes sure his brilliant diamond is secure. He often told the teaching story Hidden Treasure that sets the context for this book. In Hidden Treasure, a grieving and humbled widow and her children discover that there had been a treasure under their feet the whole time they experienced poverty. All of these stories teach us that we aren't who we think we are, How we have defined ourselves is not the truth of ourselves. What we think we must have is already present. And when we think we have lost the value of our lives, it is still here if we know where to look. This book is offered as support in discovering that our individual stories can point to what is under our noses, even if we experience it as absent. We each have the capacity to discover the truth of who we really are, whatever our particular story may be. We can find the treasure in our own being that we may think we have to look for somewhere else. And we can discover that no matter how the events of our lives are arranged and rearranged, true and lasting value is here, precisely where we stand. This book is designed to demonstrate both how we keep ourselves in the dark and how, with nothing changing in our story, we can discover the light. The truth is simple, but the ways of obscuring the truth are complex. If we can simplify the complexities of our individual suffering, we are already closer to truth. We think we suffer unequally and our particulars may be somewhat unique, but the patterns are the same. In particular ways, we are under the spell of ignorance. Ignorance can be described and through this description it can be dispelled. This book invites you to tell your story within the context of recognizing the peace and fulfillment that are always present in the core of your being. The book's purpose is to support you 
in seeing what gets in the way of that recognition. The clothing you have put on to cover the naked core of yourself. This covering is fabricated from the memory of past events. Both your individual past and our collective human past. If you are like most humans, you are weaving fabric for this clothing in the present as you prepare story lines for the future. If you are willing to stop weaving for a period of deep and truthful inquiry, you can discover what the stories cloak. In this book you are not asked to transcend your story. We can recognize the power and beauty of horror of particular stories while also recognizing the necessity to see through these stories to discover what lives at the core. In our long human history of storytelling there have been great beings with awe-inspiring stories that reveal the victory of the self-discovery. What inspires us about these great ones is that somehow their lives turned toward and then reflected the sublime discovery of everlasting truth. This book invites you to let your story be a contribution to the universal revelation of self-discovery expressed uniquely as you. This invitation is not as outrageous as it may initially appear. Even the greatest saints and realized beings had much that was ordinary in their life stories. They had pain and failure. Like us, they knew self-doubt and setbacks. When we are willing to recognize what was ordinary about those people, we can more fully embrace the possibility of our own lives turning toward and then reflecting direct and endless discovery of ourselves. In this book you are asked to see underneath and inside the story. We have learned how to present ourselves, carefully covered for both protection and deception. To the degree that we are unaware of what is free inside us, regardless of our presentations, we suffer. As you either peel the layers of your story or see through these layers, you stand naked to yourself in silent awareness. The thought of being naked to oneself can generate fear. Most of us are aware that we have a multitude of flaws and to be fully naked brings with it the possibility of discovering yet more. We have both skillfully and unconsciously learned to cover our perceived flaws with layer upon layer of storytelling. Our internal images and narratives are only made of pictures and thoughts but they wield mighty power. We may know them to be at least in part untrue, but most likely we fear that what is covered needs to be covered. 
we have become practiced at maintaining the threats of our overlapping storylines, and we work to cover the unraveling holes that life persistently reveals. This is steady work requiring our attention day and night. In an instant, if only for an instant, we can stop. When we are exhausted with our labor of covering what we fear we are, we can stop covering. When we are curious about what is unchanging in the midst of constant change, we can stop giving all our attention to what changes. When we are called to a life beyond our imagination, beyond our ability to construct, we can stop constructing our life. It is at this point that we discover that any thought of ourselves is only a threat that contributes to the weaving of a story and that threat can be released. In this release we find the strength to view ourselves without covering. Our attention can return to the silent, aware core. Silent Conscious awareness is naturally naked of phenomena and is nakedly present in the core of all phenomena. It is only our distraction with plenomena, clothing, made of thoughts, images, sense impressions and memory that keeps our core clogged from recognition. By inquiring into your life story, you can recognize the layers of ephemeral distraction that keep your attention buzzy with entanglements. When you recognize them, you can reclaim your attention you can allow the distractions to fall away or you can see through them all the way home to the silent core. In the first part of this book I present my own story and introduce Hidden Treasure, a teaching story, my teacher H. W. L. Punja, Papaji, sometimes used. In the second part, these two stories are deconstructed or undressed. The purpose of this is to support you in deeper examination of your own life story. To more fully examine your story, you undress it. You see inside it. The book's continuing deconstruction of my story and the teaching story is support for the continuing deconstruction of your story. When the essential insubstantiality of all that has been woven by thought is recognized, the cloaking device is exposed. You are naked. You can see the core of yourself, not as another object constructed by thought, but as the hidden treasure of the truth of yourself. Silent, aware consciousness is conscious of itself as eternal subject, eternal source. The naked core in your story, in my story, in the teaching story and in all the infinite mysterious variety of human stories. 
recognition of this is the completion of a life search for fulfillment.